Hello everyone, we are the Sun and Rain Canopy for Power Wheelchairs team. A little introduction about our project is power wheelchair users often move about outdoors during all kinds of weather. Currently only a few options exist, but they typically require more manual operation than is possible by power wheelchair users. Our project objective is to design a user-friendly weather protection device that can be deployed and retracted with minimal or no manual operation to protect both the wheelchair user and electronic components of a power wheelchair. Our value proposition for power wheelchair users is a retractable three-part weather protection system that is non-obtrusive and effective means for protecting the user. The proposed system has a unique form with a wide range of upper body dexterity, giving users a new level of freedom as they can leave their house without worrying about damaging their chair. Some anthropometric dimensions are seen below, as well as power wheelchair dimensions with a variety of widths for the wheelchair. Based on our initial survey and additional observations during user testing, power wheelchair users are often limited in their ability to lift heavy objects, reach above elbow height, and twist or turn or reach to reach behind their wheelchair. Our solution comprises of three separate structures, including an overhead canopy structure, a detachable body blanket, and a detachable joystick cover. This is the overhead canopy in the closed position. It sits 12 inches behind the back of the chair. I'm going to store it discreetly behind the chair when not in use. The canopy is deployed using a gas spring, which Austin will touch on a little more later. Um, this is held in place by a latch, and then when released, it pushes the four-bar linkage up. This is in use as the overhead canopy covers the head and shoulders. Here is a short animation to help articulate the movement of the four-bar mechanism. As Josh mentioned, the canopy is deployed with pull of a handle, which opens a rotary latch and releases the gas spring. We chose this method because it was important that the canopy deploy without electricity, enabling operation even in the event of a power failure. The canopy is retracted using a stepper motor, which is powered on to retract the canopy and then unpowered at any time to save battery. As mentioned before, the canopy must meet certain dimensional requirements to cover the user. Our design is sufficient body clearance and coverage to cover the user, while remaining small enough to fit inside small spaces such as public transit. The prototype we evaluated for feasibility is the SOLIDWORKS model of the aluminum frame. Using wind loading formulas and force calculations from the spring and motor, we simulated the response to the frame in storm force winds. The aluminum frame passed the stress analysis with a factor of safety of 1.53. Now we get into the details of the body cover. Overall components are shown here. It has two fabric covers that connect in front of the body with magnets. Uh, the cover has a handle that connects to a hidden cord channel, which is attached to a retractable pulley system on the back of the chair. This allows the cover to expand and bunch up to store. Key overall considerations included um, overall body coverage requiring no electricity and material performance of the shroud material. So this view shows the inner workings of the ratchet and pawl system used to pull the fabric cover out. The idea is that you would pull the handle connected to the fabric and it would lock in place once fully extended. What's unique about this pulley system is that it also allows the user to retract the cover and store it in place um, without an additional need for a button. Um, and the housing for the cover and pulley is fully adjustable and detachable on the frame. Now you can see our body cover flat lay. And here we want to give you a better understanding of the location of the features on the body cover. So here you can see the overall dimensions, the magnet location, and the handle, which is secured into the channel with grommets and where the pulley sits on the material. The key thing to note here is the channel which allows us to meet our spec of the fabric fully extending when the handle is pulled. So here you see the magnets in three locations to secure both sides, and you can see the handle location that sits on the side. Here is our prototype that we tested with. Um, we also created the physical prototype in order to determine the feasibility and functionality um, of the body covering. The joystick cover is a separate entity from the canopy and body blanket frame. It remains on the chair unlike the two previous components which are retracted when not in use. It's meant to stay on to ensure that inclement weather conditions, especially rain, will never be a risk in entering the electrical components of the power wheelchair. The joystick cover will be manufactured out of liquid silicone rubber and must meet our elasticity, hardness, and operating temperatures as shown. The cover fits on similarly to a phone case and has a thickness of one millimeter. We conducted a waterproof test. We tested using a lower grade of silicone using different water features to simulate different scenarios. Each scenario was performed with holding the joystick at different angles for up to two minutes. The joystick cover material performance succeeded an IP44 rating. We got feedback from three stakeholders with varying physical abilities, and they found each of the three products to be desirable, practical, and aesthetically pleasing. Some aspects they liked were that the canopy would not draw bad attention, the blanket handles were comfortable, and the joystick's cover they were able to protect the panel from other elements other than water. The key insight from our design was that not all three parts of the product may be used depending on the user's preference and feasibility. For example, the body blanket would most likely be used by those with a higher range of functional ability. It's important to note, though, that each system can be used independent of another. Some future considerations are to add color customization to all three components and allow more locations for the body blanket's handle to be mounted. Also, the magnets of the body blanket can have more of a colored contrast for greater visibility, and a texture can be added on the joystick cover for the visually impaired. With these modifications, we are confident that our product will be an effective and dependable weather protection device for power wheelchair users. Thank you for your time.